The further I go into my self-improvement journey, the more I realize how important it is to become a successful man. And no, it's not just to get the supercars or the nice watches or designer clothes, even though some of those things are kind of nice. But it's because becoming a high-value man is basically the end goal of men's self-improvement. And it's not just because you'll attract the top girls or men will respect you more. It's because money is a tool to get yourself as close to freedom as possible in this modern age. Because if you're enslaved to debt or a government that can take away everything you have, are you really free? Furthermore, I think becoming selfish and wanting to acquire a lot of wealth is actually the most selfless thing you can do because then you can turn around and use that wealth to help out your family, your friends, other people in need, as well as inspire other men to follow a path similar to yours. So here are six rules to guarantee success in life. Number one, develop a sense of urgency. Just spilled water on myself. Too many men nowadays just kind of lazily coast on by in their lives. I'm sure a lot of people can just kind of be happy doing that, coasting along in life, but if you clicked on this video, you want to be successful, and I know that's not you. It's kind of like when you and your friend are like, oh, dude, we should start a business. Yeah, we could do this, we could do this, we can do this, and you just kind of talk about it, and then a week goes by, maybe you talk about it a little bit, a week goes by, and then it kind of fizzles out. Versus if you had a sense of urgency, okay, we're gonna do this. We're gonna have this done within a couple days, we're gonna have this done in a week, and by the end of the month, it's all gonna be in place and we're gonna start doing this. You need to realize that your time here is limited and you don't have forever to achieve the things you want to achieve. You need to start thinking about things like, I need to be able to survive this upcoming recession and then survive the one after that. Why is my mom still working? Why have I not retired my mother yet? You know, like if you have these big goals, if you have these big dreams, you need to be pissed off at where you're at right now. Now, of course, be grateful for the blessings you have in your life, but don't be complacent. If you have this slow pace, you're complacent to an extent. I think it's Andrew Tate that says money loves speed, and I do think that is true to an extent. Stop thinking, oh, I'm gonna start doing this pretty soon, or next month I'm gonna do this, or next year will be my year. That book you know you need to read that will give you the value and information that you can apply to your goals, buy it now. That YouTube channel you keep telling your friends you wanna start, but you haven't started it yet. Create it now, make your first video now, even if it sucks, do it. The website you wanna make, the business you wanna create, the client you wanna reach out to, the girl you wanna talk to, the good habits you wanna start to build, the diet you wanna get on, the fitness plan you wanna get on, all of that you need to have a sense of urgency, like I need to start this as soon as possible. Or you know, just don't worry about it, you know, just keep putting it off, you'll, you'll have your lucky break pretty soon, buddy. Number two is to start to expand your thinking. Broaden your perspective of things, you know, when you see an ad, instead of just seeing the ad, think, why is this a good ad? Why did they use this kind of text? Why are they using these colors? What are they trying to sell me? What is their end goal? Start to develop this student mindset and you'll find that not only will you learn more lessons just from life, but you also open yourself up to more opportunity because you're just more perceptive. Another example from Tate is a story he would tell where him and his friends were walking to like university or something and a Ferrari just burns past them and Andrew's like, how did he get that? How did he make a quarter million dollars that he could just spend on a car? And his friend's like, I don't know, who cares? And he's like, no, doesn't that piss you off? Like, I want to be able to do that. Why does he have that money and I don't? So then he goes on to maybe looking at a coffee shop and thinking, why does this coffee shop work so well? If they sold cake, would they sell more customers? If they had a pretty girl instead of an ugly dude at the counter, would they sell more? Why is it at this location? Why is it next to this building? Oh, the people coming into work drive through here and get their coffee and then go into work. And then you go down the rabbit hole to learning exactly how money really works. Like what exactly is money? Who makes it? Who owns it? What is it backed by? Start to notice cash flows around the world and wonder how to, how can I get myself in the middle of that, you know, and catch some of that money. A good way to start becoming more perspective is to become a more mindful person. For me, the best tool I found is meditation. And I found that as I start to think more deeply about things, talk to more people, it broadens my mind to th think of more ideas, see more opportunities, come up with more ideas, and thus it will help you find more avenues for success. Number three is learn some, apply some. Learn some, apply some. Something I've noticed, and I'm guilty of doing this from time to time, is that both in the world of self-improvement as well as entrepreneurship and business, we tend to get caught in this loop of just trying to information, information, learn, learn, books, videos, podcasts, self-improvement, business guides, how to start this business how to do this, how to do this. And what happens is we get stuck in this paralysis by analysis where we're just constantly consuming information, thinking we need more and more information and the big tip that's gonna get us to where we want is just around the corner. When in reality, it's like you have a cup and you're just pouring it and it's overfilling and you're forgetting things, learning new things, forgetting things, learning through things and you haven't applied shit. When in reality, the best thing would do to be read a couple chapters about, oh, okay, this is how I create an email funnel. All right, I'm gonna go do that. Not finishing the entire book, then reading this book, then reading this book, then reading this book. The bookmarks all just fell out. I just lost my place in all these books. Because consuming information does not equal learning information. Because if that was the case, you'd remember every little TikTok life hack you've ever seen. The best practice is to take some information, go and apply it, and then you will truly learn it and you'll truly start to reap the benefits of all this information you're gathering. And if you pair this practice of learning and applying with your sense of urgency, you'll never get stuck in inaction, which will make you learn more, progress more, and raise your probability of success. Which will lead us into number four, which is change your view of luck 
into probability. Far too many people in this world simply view success as these lucky events that happen to some people and it's just this magic, this magic power of luck that just comes from the sky. For example, let's say Joe Schmo just went from making $100,000 a year as a software developer to selling a software for $100 million. People will view that as, oh wow, what a lucky break when in reality for the past five years he's been building this software, crafting it, perfecting it to where finally a company took interest and bought it off of him. That's not luck, he simply continued to raise the probability of that opportunity to occur. Clearly you can't control things like the country you're in or the family you're born to, but that's the thing. You can't control it, so you need to be stoic and not worry about it. Focus on the things you can control and every step towards your goal will be raising your probability to be successful. And if you continue to do this day after day, raising that probability, the chance of success is basically inevitable. As for the things out of your control that you may still view as luck, simply be grateful for them. And while yes, you now view things as probability, still consider yourself and identify as a lucky person. Because if you truly believe that you're a lucky person, you will be more likely to open yourself up to opportunity. Number four has basically changed my life and that is to start valuing your time more. Think about the most super successful, super rich people and how much money they make every single day. For example, let's say someone makes a thousand dollars a day and they sleep for eight hours. An hour of their time is worth $62.50. Now let's say they only work six hours a day. That's $166 an hour. This is one of the practices that helped me the most, not just for trying to be successful, but just self-improvement in general. I think it was a clip of Jordan Peterson I saw where he said everyone should value their time at like 50 an hour. So let's say it's 50 bucks an hour, which is perfectly reasonable. So if you waste six hours a day, and you are, then you're wasting about $2,000 a week or about $100,000 a year. And when you start doing that, you'll notice how quickly the way you do things, this your schedule, your day-to-day -day life changes drastically. For example, is spending two hours playing video games worth giving up $100? If instead of sleeping for seven hours, you slept in for 10 hours, is that worth $150 for sleep you did not need? Once you start doing this, you'll realize the true investment of doing all these mindless entertainment things. The funny thing is when I get to the topic of cut out worthless entertainment, stop playing video games, stop watching shows, so many people attack me and say, it, it makes me happy, okay? Is it really a waste of time if it makes me happy? Yeah, for sure, have some fun here and there. Don't be a robot. Sometimes it 100% is worth it. But for those guys that still wanna watch all their shows, I need an hour of video games a day, uh, I need to jerk off for an hour a day. For guys like that, just know that when you're doing that, people like me and other people watching this video, our probability is going up while yours isn't. Number six is extremely powerful, and that is to reinvent your identity. To achieve success, to become a successful person, you need to begin to identify as a successful person. Even if you're at a low point in life, start to do positive affirmations, talk to yourself in the mirror, journal about it, and change your identity. Say, I'm a successful person, I'm open to opportunity, I'm very creative, I'm very lucky. An easy and effective way to do this is something I learned from the book Think and Grow Rich. And that is to write down in great detail your goals, what you wanna achieve, the type of successful life you have that you wanna live, and then every day read that and then visualize it as if you've already achieved it. What that will do is it will start to program your subconscious mind into believing that it has happened and thus you will start unconsciously and subconsciously making decisions that push that into reality because, well, this is the case, I need to make it happen because it's, it's reality. And while at first it may feel forced or foreign, over time you'll notice that the identity shift is actually taking place. Like if you start telling yourself, I'm that guy, I'm top G, and you'll eventually start believing it, imagine how much higher your confidence will be. And with higher confidence, you'll have better social skills, you'll be able to talk to people, network with people better, and become more successful, and you'll have a better social life. If you have any other ways to guarantee a successful life or you wanna to add to what we talked about, please comment below. Speaking of confidence, a guaranteed way to boost your confidence as well as gain more respect from guys and more attraction from women is to train and build an impressive physique. I have videos about it on my channel but if you want to get an all-in-one tool to optimize your training, your supplementation, your nutrition, your mindset, your rest, to optimize your performance in the gym and maximize your results from it, then consider checking out my fitness course, link in the description below. You don't have to though, just if you want to. And lastly, if you made it this far into the video, thank you. That does more for the algorithm than a like or a comment ever could. That's it though. Bye, 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 bye.